Hey guys, welcome to the latest Zico System video. Drew speaking here, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming English Premier League matches on October 19th and 20th, which is Wednesday and Thursday nights, and some big midweek matches going on in England in the Premier League. So we're going to take a look at that. We're also going to take a look at the current uh, betting odds there uh, in the Premier League with the, uh, the outright winner odds, that is. And so we're going to take a look at those as well as go over the matches for October 19th and 20th. If you go to the blog right there, you can see that we have new posts up for the up the upcoming games uh, in the NFL. And if you scroll down, you can see the blog I wrote for the English Premier League matches as we have Manchester United and Tottenham headlining this week's games. So you're not going to want to miss that. We're going to talk about that game and you can read up on the picks that I posted there. We're going to talk about uh, quite a few picks today uh, in, the, in the video. But again, the bet, or excuse me, the Z Code System website has a lot of great content there. Uh, what to know about Bitcoin slots? So some great educational content there for you to consume and to read. We've got NHL picks, which uh, will be coming up again, uh, posting those in the coming days. So you have so much to to get to know and to read there at Z Code System. But again, we're talking about the English Premier League here on this video. So we're going to take a look very quickly first off at the current outright winner odds for the Premier League. And as you can see there, I have Bet365 open. That is my favorite sports book. Uh, of course, there are other sports books out there that you might want to use. So by all means, use your favorite sports book. But I personally like Bet365. I like the, the different features it has. I like the ease of use uh, it provides. And to be honest, they do some great um, uh, bonus features for for customers, uh, such as early payouts on on soccer betting, as well as um, some of the different features that I like, as well as the, the live streaming uh, of different games, whether it be uh, NFL or uh, or uh, soccer. Um, top soccer leagues here in Europe. So definitely if you are in Europe, I highly recommend using Bet365. But again, that's, uh, that's my favorite sports book and I'm sure you have your own. But uh, we're looking here at the Premier League outright winner odds. So I'm just scrolling down here to the English Premier League. And of course, we've got the odds for the games coming up uh, on the 19th and the 20th. And I'm just going to click on outright odds. And as you can see there, we have the outright odds. Uh, in uh, the American odds format. And you can see that Manchester City is still the favorite to win the English Premier League. They won it last season, uh, pipping Liverpool to the title there on the final day. Now, you might ask yourself, why are Man City the favorites? Because Man City are second currently in the league. They are, uh, I believe it's four points behind Arsenal right now in the Premier League title race. And they're coming off of a 1-0 loss to Liverpool at the weekend. Why are Man City still the favorites? Well, it's because Man City are really the strongest team still. They have a great squad. They have a great manager. And uh, they, other than losing to Liverpool, they had been blowing teams uh, basically away for much of this season. Uh, and they have the best striker in Europe in Erling Haaland scoring goals there. And he is likely to set records um, that, that uh, may never be toppled um, this season. Uh, so they are still the favorites. Arsenal, who are in first place right now, they are plus 600 to win. And uh, the bookmakers think that Arsenal are going to fall away later on in the second half of the season. Now, keep in mind, Man City do often really get going in the second half of the season around the uh, end of November, beginning of December. They really start to get things going uh, and uh, and really pick up steam. Now Liverpool are well behind the pace right now and uh, out of the title picture. Um, for me, as a Liverpool supporter, I don't expect them to to win the title or to really contest it, uh, compete for it. Uh, it'll be it'll be a difficult task for them to finish in the top four. But bookmakers do think, I guess, that Liverpool can make a title challenge. Now keep in mind, around Christmas time last year, Liverpool were twelve points behind Man City and clawed it back to take that to the final 20 minutes of the Premier League season. And they lost the title by one point on the final day of the season. So, um, you know, perhaps they can claw it back. But right now, I don't think they really can. Lots of injuries, lots of fatigue, lots of uh, motivation problems there. But as you can see there, we've got the outright winner odds currently uh, offered by Bet365. These should be similar to, uh, at most uh, top sports books, industry leading sports books around uh, the world. Uh, but these are the current outright winner outright winner odds and you know if you fancy another betting market you can check out 
these great betting markets, you can uh, bet on the outright winner without. So this is a, always a, a fun market. So, for example, you can bet on the outright winner of the Premier League without, if you take away Man City and Liverpool. Uh, so you can do that with uh, some of the other teams as well. So uh, the top, the, the winner of the league without the big six, the traditional big six teams. So um, it's always a fun market to do, but there are loads of markets that you can check out at your favorite sports book. So be sure to do that because you might find some great value in a wise bet. All right, let's take a look at the Soccer Buddy tool, which we have uh, Zico system, to look at some matches coming up on the 19th and the 20th. All right, so as you can see there, we've got the 20th already open, but uh, we want to take it back to the 19th uh, in the Premier League. Now, if you are a soccer better, you will be able to find predictions for lots and lots of leagues from around the world. So I highly recommend if you are not signed to, to uh, Bet365 and you take your soccer betting seriously, then go over and sign up today. Now, we've got all the matches up here for the 19th. That's Wednesday the 19th. Uh, the big match on the night is going to be Tottenham Hotspur taking on Manchester United at Old Trafford. I've profiled this in our blog. And we've got a score prediction of 2-1 to one, Manchester United to beat Tottenham Hotspur. Manchester United are uh, the favorites here, according to the bookmakers. And why shouldn't they be? This is a team that does not lose often to Tottenham Hotspur at Old Trafford. I believe it is only four times that Tottenham Hotspur have gone to Manchester United during the Premier League era and won at the theater of dreams. So I'm definitely backing Manchester United to pick up a win here. And I do like that 2-1 score prediction. Um, both teams to score. Both teams are, are very good this season, both in the top six right now. Spurs, you know, I, I like them at the beginning of the season to to challenge for the title, which they're still doing right now. They're not too far off of um, off of Arsenal at the top of the table. Uh, they do need to get uh, hot uh, to, to ensure that they continue to fight for the title. But I do think Manchester United will take all three points in this game. And I believe that they will be picking up the win in this game. I do like that 2-1 scoreline and uh, and the Red Devils to, to win this game. Now, looking at that West Ham versus Liverpool game, West Ham going to Liverpool, where they have, uh, similar to Tottenham and Manchester United, they have struggled mightily to win games at Anfield. Uh, we've got a score prediction of 2-1, to one, and I'm going to say I do like that score prediction again. Liverpool have been giving up goals this season. Uh, they played exceptionally well against Manchester City. Now, the problem is Liverpool have been inconsistent this season and unable to match those types of performances, and that's really the first time they've put such a performance in uh, was against Manchester City. Uh, they've been conceding a lot of goals. A lot of first goals have been going to opposition teams uh, with Liverpool having to come from behind. Um, I like Liverpool to win this game. It should be a very competitive uh, fixture. They haven't lost at Anfield all season. Um, although they have drawn a, a couple of games there. Uh, West Ham are on a three game unbeaten streak at the moment after starting the season very poorly. I believe they're around 12th in the table at the moment, but uh, I think that they're going to run into a, a bit of a wall there at Anfield and Liverpool are going to pick up a win. And this could be, you know, that, that winning against Manchester City last weekend could be the catalyst for Liverpool to really shoot up the table. Now, very quickly, we're going to cover the rest of these games on Wednesday night. So you're getting a little special uh, special treat here on the video. You're getting all of the picks for the games on Wednesday and all the games on Thursday. Won't be able to give you those games for Tuesday night, however. Uh, Chelsea-Brentford. Um, I do like Chelsea to win this game. They're going away to Brentford here. I don't like that scoreline prediction because I think Chelsea are going to win this game 2-0. Uh, I don't think they're going to have much trouble with Brentford after changing managers. Uh, and hiring Graham Potter, Chelsea have been on a fantastic roll, and they have won four straight Premier League games. I like Chelsea to win this game 2-0. Uh, Southampton and Bournemouth, uh, I do like a score draw in this game. Uh, obviously, the prediction there is 2-1, but again, I like a score draw here, 1-1 or 2-2 in this game. Bournemouth are also coming off of a 2-2 draw uh, at last weekend against Fulham, while Southampton are coming off of a 1-1 draw with West Ham. So again, like I said, I like a score draw in this game. And then we've got Everton going to Newcastle United, where they have struggled recently. And uh, you know what? I kind of like that scoreline prediction. Newcastle to defeat Everton. Everton kind of had a bit of a, a pick-me-up in September, uh, but they are now sliding back down the table, uh, unable to pick up some wins in, in recent games. Newcastle are doing well. And to be honest, if Newcastle can maybe make a signing or two in January, you know, this is a team that may be able to crack the top four, or at least I think they can crack the top six this season and qualify for Europe. But uh, you know what? I wouldn't at the moment 
ruled them out of signing a, a couple of players in January and pushing on for that top four. All right, let's take a look at the Thursday games. There's only two games on Thursday in the Premier League, and that's to, going to be Fulham and Aston Villa at Craven Cottage. And then we're also going to have Leeds going to Leicester City to play uh, a very big game, a six-point uh, game there uh, against Leicester City. All right, so we've got uh, that Aston Villa versus Fulham game coming up first. Aston Villa manager Steven Gerrard under a lot of pressure reports on Tuesday were that Gerrard was sacked by Aston Villa was fired by the club, uh, but there's really been no follow-up reports on that. Uh, Villa looking to to hire uh, quite a big-name coach right now. They're, they're looking at both Thomas Tuchel as well as Mauricio Pochettino, um, but we'll have to see if, uh, if that comes off. And I think they're possibly going to be waiting until November when we have the World Cup international break to make that managerial change. I think there's going to be a, quite a few Premier League teams sacking managers come November uh, because it's going to be kind of a fresh start coming back from the World Cup uh, at the end of December. But I digress. Uh, Fulham, uh, in decent form, nothing special. They're coming off of a 2-2 draw against Bournemouth. Aston Villa coming off of a 2-0 loss to Chelsea. Again, I like a score draw in this game. Um, I think these teams are, are a bit evenly matched. Fulham have a fantastic striker in Alexander Mitrovic. And if you're wanting to back a player to score any time, be sure to back Mitrovic. He is in fantastic form this season for Fulham. But again, I like a score draw, Aston Villa versus Fulham. And then we go to Leeds, Leicester City. Uh, Leicester City, uh, unbeaten in two of their last three games. They are at the bottom of the table right now, playing very poorly uh, this season. They weren't able to really strengthen the team. And although the, the club would probably like to change their managers, um, they're unable to sack current manager Brendan Rodgers due to the amount of money he's due by the club, £10 million, if he is sacked. So right now, Leicester City hanging on to him, and uh, they are coming off of a nil-nil, very boring, very dull draw against Crystal Palace at home last weekend. Like I said, though, they are unbeaten in two of their last three games, and both of those games were played at home, where they will be playing on Thursday night against Leeds United. Leeds United are winless in their last six games. They are struggling right now. I think they picked up two points from their last six games, so uh, playing poorly, not scoring goals, and I think Leicester City are going to take this game. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a 2-0 win for Leicester City here. Uh, I could see Leeds failing to find the back of the net in this game. So I'm backing Leicester City to pick up a win against Leeds United on uh, Thursday night at the King Power Stadium. All right, guys. So those are our picks and predictions for this week in the Premier League on Wednesday and Thursday night, the 19th and the 20th. So we're going to have some great games going on as we build up to uh, to the weekend when we have a short turnaround. Now, if you are a Premier League better, if you are into betting on soccer, there are loads of games coming up right now uh, as we head towards the World Cup in November. So we are just a month away from the World Cup. Jeez, I could, can't even believe that. Uh, we are just a month away from the Premier League taking a break for four to five weeks, along with all the other major leagues around Europe, uh, as we head towards the World Cup. And of course, we're going to be talking about the World Cup as it gets a little bit closer. And uh, But right now, there's loads of great club football to bet on. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for me today here on Z Code System. If you are not up to date with Z Code System, be sure to follow us on YouTube. Be sure to um, like these videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on everything we do at Z Code System on YouTube. We post videos every day, every week, and uh, it's a great way for you to stay up to date on everything that we do and a chance to be sure to get educated, smart betting picks to make great investments. All right, guys, we will see you soon here on Z Code System. Have a great week and enjoy your Premier League betting.